So one thing I wanted to say, Steve Novick over there is pointing out all this stuff about volunteers. Well, the truth is, is volunteers usually work harder than people that are paid and overpaid like you. So you should uh, respect volunteer work instead of trying to degrade it, okay? And this whole uh, process of making these uh, meetings secretive is totally criminal, you know? You're trying to exclude the community, you know? There's uh, people getting beaten, mistreated, all kinds of stuff on the streets all the time by police officers. And, you know, just like these uh, members of the CRC said that they already uh, have to dismiss cases where they'd like to take them, you know? And, uh, you know, these secretive meetings is not the way to uh, conduct business. And this discipline system is already secretive and behind closed doors. This is just an attempt to push it further behind and closed our doors, you know? And the IPR is understaffed, they have limited power. Maybe you need to increase the staff, maybe double it in size, and actually increase their power. And, uh, you know, a recently published article in the Willamette Week reported that a former police officer, Portland police officer Cody Burns, Byrne, who fatally shot Keaton Otis, is now a prosecutor. The Multnomah County District Attorney stand by their hiring decision to hire a murderous cop who executed a mentally ill man via police firing squad. Okay? So, that just shows that the level of corruption in this county goes even further to the uh, prosecutors and everything else. And this whole, uh, the whole idea of police accountability is a joke anyways and is non-existent in this country and in this city, and that's obviously proof right there that you have the uh, DA officer office hiring a murderous cop who shot a mentally ill guy unarmed, shot him 11, he fired 11 of the 32 shots, okay? Thank you. So you and James Chassie was beaten to death approximately 10 years ago by the Portland police. And that's one of the reasons that a lot of these uh, police reform things have taken part in the DOJ settlement. And there's going to be a night of rage outside of the Justice Center, 8 p.m., September 17th, Saturday, and we'll be marching in the streets to uh, do something about this, you know? Thank you very much. And, and Thank you. We're gonna you let, know, let's let the next person speak, okay? No, actually, you delayed my time for right. two hours. We have some other folks that would like to speak, Mr. No, Davis. All right, all right. You know, and what about my broken camera? You know, Let's, your little buddy, Matt. Okay, Mr. Davis. Mom, thank you very much. Uh, let's let this right, let's let this okay. next person speak, so, okay? And then the same, Mr. Davis, same, you're done. Uh, Rod Underhill, the same, Mr. Davis, you're done. It's bird. late, and we have people that want to speak. Uh, Are we going to have to recess in order to let somebody else speak? All right, let's, no, let's let somebody else speak. You know what? That's your little, that's your little power play. No, you it's just trying to... You don't allow me to speak an extra minute. You just don't want to hear what I say because I speak the truth too much. Okay, thank and, you. And that's the... Oh, we're going to have to have a recess. You're such a petty little tyrant. And I'll be at your house. I have your address. Okay, you know? Mr. Davis, I please. I will be saying that on public record a bunch of times. And then there will be a weird song. Other Thank you. Let's let this person speak. Go ahead, please. Good evening.